Hello everybody and welcome to the presentation about extending battery life of electric vehicle fleets. My name is Veronica and I am project manager in AVL. I have a PhD in technical physics and directly after university I joined AVL um, working on battery simulation and today I'm a project manager with a focus on development process innovation in the field of electrification. I'm working in IUDP, which is the integrated and open development platform in AVL. Today, I want to introduce you into AVL's offering about extending the battery life for electric vehicle fleets. I will start with giving an overview about the battery value chain, starting from raw materials to recycling. Then we have a look into the actual challenge, why do batteries die? Then I want to show you what AVL can do for you in terms of battery testing, simulation and lifetime prediction. And finally, I will introduce you into the in-use uh, fleet monitoring to extend battery life. I also want to give you some project references that we did already with customers and of course a key message for you to remember. Now, first of all, the battery value chain. So if we want to understand a battery life um, and how to maximize the lifetime, how to prolong it, how to increase battery profitability and value, we need to have a look at the whole battery value chain. So this starts from the raw material extraction going into the cell production and battery production along the full vehicle development process and also very important is the vehicle in-use phase, be it the EV owner, the e-mobility provider, or a fleet operator that will finally use um, the vehicles. So all of this data, all of this historical information is important if we want to have a, an understanding about battery lifetime and electric range. And specifically, it is also crucial as it defines the the battery condition, the battery state of health, as well as the second life application, which can be recycling, reusing or repurposing. And in AVL, we are a neutral partner that is actually um, active in all of these different phases in also different um, application fields, ranging from two wheelers to passenger cars to commercial vehicles or even marine. Now, what is the challenge in this battery life cycle management? First of all, we have a lot of different parties involved. Second, we still need to track all the data uh, along the whole value chain. And third, there is no standard for battery state of health or remaining value of the battery yet. Um, customers are addressing us and they are having questions. How long can I use my battery in my application? Why do my batteries actually die? And how can I choose the best cell, the best pack, the best operation strategy or calibration? Can I optimize my operation strategy to maximize my lifetime? I want to show you in this video um, the AVL approach to tackle these challenges and answer these questions. First of all, let's have a look at our challenge. Why do batteries die? Um, what is the lifetime of a battery? So if you look into a vehicle down into the pack level, into the cell, you will see that for any kind of lithium ion battery, the capacity decreases over time. While it is 100% at beginning of life, it decreases depending on how you're using it in your application until it reaches the end of life, which is typically associated to 70 to 80% of the original capacity. The time it takes until then is the battery lifetime and the holy grail in the battery life cycle management is to extend this battery lifetime as much as possible, understand why this curve looks like it looks and what can we do to decrease the aging effect and extend the lifetime. Why is it important? The battery is the key component and most expensive part of the XEV. It is around 30% of the vehicle net cost. 
Moreover, the battery ages over time, depending on how you're using it. It decreases the electric range, it decreases the performance, and you can run into safety issues. What are the influencing factors that we're having for battery aging? Because those are the triggers that we can look into to increase the battery lifetime. First of all, it's the cell chemistry and the cell design. So depending on the, on the materials you're having in your cell, you will have different chemical reactions and different aging and degradation processes. The second one is the battery pack design. So depending on which cooling system you're having, which electrical connections, and also very important, the mechanical pressure and load on the cells, you will have different mechanisms and different aging. Moreover, if you're looking then on the, at the final vehicle and their application on the road, it's important where are you driving and using your car, which environment, which um, temperature, humidity, as well as what are the sequences of driving, parking and charging. So what we see is that there is significant impact on the battery aging from the in-use phase. And it is really important to look into this part as well when assessing the lifetime of a battery. So let's have a look at what AVL can do for you in terms of battery testing, simulation, and lifetime prediction. So AVL is working on different modeling approaches, ranging from physics-based models to half empirical models to data-driven models. What is the difference between these models? First of all, it is the amount and type of test data that you need to parameterize these models and also how much physical and chemical details are you including into these models. The accuracy typically increases to using more and more physical chemical details, but all of these models are quite complex and it depends on the customer, on the type of data that is available and also of course on the customer goals, uh, which technology, which modeling approach we as AVL are offering to fulfill their needs. Um, all of these models will need a certain amount of testing as stated before. AVL um, is using different testing approaches as well as fleet data to parameterize these models. This can be battery subcell testing and analysis if we go for electrochemical modeling. This can be battery cell testing or so aging testing, battery module impact testing if we go for half empirical models, as well as if we really have a look into the in-use phase and want to extend the battery lifetime just from in-use data, it will be a data-driven model or uh, a data-driven model hybridized with a physical one. Now, this is an example of a half empirical model. This is AVL statistical lifetime prediction. It has three phases. The first one is cell testing. So based on the design of experiment, we're doing a statistically optimized number of tests, also based on different aging factors that we um, analyzed before. These aging experiments will be around 30 to 90 different tests and they will run for six months to two years. If we're done with all these testings, we're going into the second step, which is mathematics and statistics. So we're taking the, the cell tests, the capacity fades that we measured, the resistance increases, impedance changes as an input to feed that into a mathematical model in order to get the end of life and also the battery damage that, that is caused to these batteries. So this will be finally a model that can, in a third step, be applied to any kind of in-use driving profile to predict the lifetime. So the output would be actually the number of years um, you can still use the battery in your application. It can be detecting parts of a driving profile or of an operation strategy that is very damaging to the battery. And also, if you are using this more and more, you can optimize your driving, cooling and charging strategy based on such an approach. Now let's have a look at the in-use fleet monitoring to extend the battery life. So for this, we as AVL, we are offering a solution that um, has four contributions. 
So first of all, we can do the data collection. So we're offering a very secure data transfer in real time that can um, track all the battery data, the GPS, the temperatures, the state of charges and everything of your vehicle fleet. Um, so this is the first step to gather the data. Then we take this data and can feed it into a fleet monitoring and analytics platform. So you can, in this platform, visualize all the, me the measured data. You can monitor the battery condition and you can analyze the data. As a next step, we can apply a digital twin to this measured data and parameterize a digital twin, a simulation model from this. And this will then be a real-time simulation based on these vehicle signals. And finally, we can apply the battery lifetime methodology that we just uh, was just mentioned before. Um, we can do KPI generation, battery state of health and battery degradation analysis, as well as battery remaining value. What is the benefits that you have from such an approach? It can be, of course, improving the battery value and profitability. It can be optimizing your operation and charging strategy. Um, of course, if you're a fleet operator, this will reduce the total cost of ownership for you and also increase workshop efficiency. If you're an OEM, you can optimize your warranty claim process or even um, avoid very cost-efficient battery replacements. Now, just a little more information on these four individual steps. So here's some more info, info on data collection and fleet monitoring. So ADL can do fleet data collection from GPS to BMS data, temperature, current, voltages, date of charge, environmental temperatures. So all of the onboard data that you have in your vehicle fleet. We can integrate this data into an analytics platform where we are importing the data, checking the quality, visualize it and um, do automatic report generations. And finally, of course, we can analyze this data in terms of driving behaviors, battery usages, how the charging strategy was done and all of statistical different analysis. The other part of the solution is the digital twin and the battery lifetime methodology. So um, we can parameterize digital twins just from the in-use data, from component or fleet data, and this digital twin can then run in real time to the vehicles on the road. Um, we can monitor the battery condition, the battery damage. From this, we can optimize routes and charging strategy and do predictive maintenance. And finally, of course, we can use our methodology to predict the lifetime of batteries. Um, so based on customer usage for each individual vehicle, you will get the end of life and the state of health of the battery and the whole fleet and also information to a battery remaining value. Now, um, I want to share some project references that we did um, with customers already. So this is one with a premium OEM where we did the battery lifetime simulation. So the goal here was um, that a customer would like to predict the lifetime of his vehicles and battery depending on different customer profiles already in the concept phase. What we as ADL provided was the battery cell testing, the battery cell model parameterization, the customer driving profile generation, and finally the customer could use this tool to simulate the lifetime predicted for different customer profiles and thereby understand their customers and requirements on the battery better. The second example addresses the in-use phase. Again, this is um, a project that we did with a premium OEM about real-time battery data monitoring of an e-scooter fleet. So we equipped uh, a fleet of East coders with our data logger. We are monitoring the battery condition. We are feeding this data into an analytics platform and giving the customer the opportunity to observe the data and analyze it 
in real time. Now, one more reference that I would like to share is a current R&D program that we are involved together with a lot of different partners. It addresses the remaining battery value and also finding ways to calculate the cost of a battery after usage and also um, when giving them into different second life applications such as reuse, repurpose or recycling. So finally, I want to summarize. Um, I have shown you our use case extending battery life of electric vehicle fleets. What are the key messages, the main messages to take home? We as Avia, we provide a technology to increase the battery life of electric vehicle fleets. How are we doing this? We can provide real-time battery data collection in the field. We can provide aging testing, simulation and lifetime prediction methodologies. We can provide customers fleet analytics platforms and even give recommendations of how to use your vehicles in the fleet to optimize the battery value. Why are we doing this? We want you to improve the battery value and profitability. We want to enable operation and charging strategy optimization. We want you to save time and cost with predictive maintenance. If you have any questions, requests, ideas for partnerships, then please contact me on this email address. I am happy to reply as soon as possible. You can also find some general information on our AVL extranet. Thank you very much for listening and I am already curious and happy to hear from you. Bye.